Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, the BricsCAD sales and support point for India. In this BricsCAD video, I'm going to show you about how to manage layers in BricsCAD using the Drawing Explorer. Now, this is a drawing you can see here. There are contours and there are parcels, land areas, numbers and so on. If you want to check out the layers in this drawing, you must go to Tools and under Drawing Explorer, click on Layer. This will open the Layers dialog box in the Drawing Explorer and here you can see the different layers. Now as I click on the right hand side and when I use my down arrow, you can see that I am stepping through each one of these layers one by one and in the bottom pane here, it is showing me the preview of what is contained in that layer. So whatever zoom is on the main drawing, you will get a preview of that area here. So these are the layers in my drawing. So you can see zero layer always exists. And this round thing here means that this is the current layer. So anytime you want to make any layer current, you just need to put, put this round thing here. Now let us see what else is available here. After the layer name, there is a description field. So you can enter a description. So for example, this is a canal top left. So you can write a description called say canal top left and so on. So it's up to you. It is not mandatory. If you want, you can add a description for the layer here. The next tab is about on off. So you can switch layers on or off using the on off tab. Next to that is the freeze thaw. So freeze thaw and on off are similar, except that when you freeze, it's a little faster when you do zoom and pan instead of just doing a on off. Next to that is the lock unlock option. So you can see that when you lock the layer, you cannot delete the entities from it. And when you lock, you can also see that it gets a little bit dull or dim. So for example, if I go out, this is the one which is locked. So if I try to delete, you can see that one entity is on a locked layer, so you cannot delete. So that is the advantage or use of locking a layer. So if you don't want to delete a layer by mistake, you keep it lock. The next you have the color option here. So you can set the layer color. So all these are similar to what you already know in other software like AutoCAD. The next to that is the line type. So in line type, you can choose what line type you want for your layer. So if you want more line types, you can just click on load. So it will show all the line types which are available in your line type definition file. And you can note that the line type definition file is stored here in this part. So it's always in C users and following that you will have your actual Windows username here and then app data, roaming, Brixis, Brixcad, version number, US, version English, UN, support, default dot lin. This is important. This is the file name in which all the line types are stored. Now. The reason why I am mentioning this is because sometimes you may have some special line types that you used in AutoCAD or in other software and then you want to bring them into BricsCAD. So in which case you must copy it from the other LIN file. Normally in AutoCAD it's called ACAD.LIN. You must copy the line type definition from that file and put it in default.LIN in BricsCAD. So for that reason, it's important to be aware that this is the path where the line types are saved. Then we have line weights. So line weights, I'm sure you all know, it gives you the thickness of the line for display purposes. So you can set the line weights for the uh, various layers. You can also set the transparency of the layer. So when you set the transparency, then any solid object like a hatch or an image, it will become transparent, which means anything which is under it will be visible. So you can set the transparency value between 0 and 100. Then there's something called as a plot style, which you can set. You can also specify whether the layer should be plotted or not. So these are the most important options in the layer command. And unlike in AutoCAD, here in BricsCAD, the layer is available under Drawing Explorer. And it is available here under the structure that you can see here. In fact, it is not just layer, but you can also see a lot of other things like blocks, layer states and all. So let us look at the related subject here, which is called layers. So layer state means you can group a certain combination of layers and give them one name. For example, you can have a drawing in which one layer state includes 
contours another layer state does not include contour. So I have created a new layer state and named it as contour. Now if I right click here, so I'm going to edit. Now I must select what are the layers which I want to show and what are the layers which I want to hide in this layer state. So in contour layer state, I want only the contours. So these are my contours CVD cont and CVD HYL. So what I will do is I'm going to make CVD cont as current and I'm going to freeze all the other layer. So everything else other than these two have been okay. Well, let's keep this also on. So these three are on the rest are all hidden. So I'm going to say okay. Now that is my layer state for contour. Now I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it as no contour and then I'm going to click right click and go to edit. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make zero as current and then I'm going to switch off the contour layer and say OK. Now what I've done is I have created two layer state and in one layer states I am displaying only the contours and in another layer state I am displaying everything other than the contours. So let us see how it works. So we go back again to layer state and I'm going to make this as the current layer state and I'm going to say restore. So now you can see what happens only the contours have been restored only the contour layers. Now I go back again to layer state and I'm going to no contours and I'm going to restore that and you can see everything has come except the contour. So again if you go and check here these three are switched off everything else is on. So that is how layer states work. So layer states are nothing but a grouping by which you can control the visibility of the layers either on off or freeze thaw. You can set all the parameters that you want and they will all be covered by this layer state command. So just check it out. It's very simple and it will add a lot of power to your drawing management. If you have any questions, please feel free to get back to me. Thank you.